Welcome to Beezer's Kitchen and more. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It's cooking time. Hey guys, welcome back to Beezer's Kitchen and more. Today I'll be going to Southern Africa to Mozambique, Maputo, where I'll be making a delicious chicken recipe called PD PD Chicken. Yes, it's a little strange, but I'm gonna try this dish for the first time and I'll be customizing it a little bit like by removing a lot of the spiciness because we're not eating a pain. Anyway, let's get this prepping going. We start the cooking process by prepping our seasons to be blended. The main ingredients in this recipe is different type of pepper, mainly chili pepper, but I'll be using bell peppers. To obtain the spiciness, we'll be using ginger. So we add our green onions, onion, yellow bell pepper, red bell pepper, thyme, five or more garlic cloves, dry parsley, bay leaves, ginger, lemon, royco, garlic and herb spices, maggi, palm oil, and then we blend away. As always, Beezer fans, we have something extra special for you, so stay tuned! To season our meat, we first score it. So we slit on the surface of the meat so the seasoning creates a fabulous flavor bomb from inside out. I had already washed and cleaned my chicken previously so now let's marinate. Look at that beautiful color. The marinated meat will sit in the refrigerator for two to three hours. After three hours, it's now time to cook our meat. Oh my God, the flavor is rocking. And this is why it is important to season your meat because trust me, it smells so good right now. We place our marinated meat in an oven safe tray. Remember, safety is important. 
I covered the tray with foil and placed it in the oven for 40 minutes. The oven was preheated at 350. Our prepared chicken will be served with homemade wedges. I cut the potatoes into half, then I cut the halves of the potato into 4 to 5 equal pieces. I pre-seasoned my potato with basic ingredients, oregano, parsley, black pepper, garlic and herb spices and maggi. Then I add a little bit of oil. Nice. Our meat is almost ready. I will coat it with some leftover peri-peri sauce and slide it back into the oven for a few more minutes. Now let's cook our wedges. Bear in mind that it takes a longer time to make wedges as the sizes are bigger than normal fries. So be patient. Here I'm coating a few pieces of wedges with flour just to test the outcome. Don't be afraid to be creative in your kitchen. It's either a hit or a miss and 9 out of 10 time, it's a hit. So get the creativity going. Our purple chicken is now done. Top with Portuguese hot sauce for the spicy food lover. Serve with homemade potato wedges or a signature salad and a cool can of Heineken beer. Bon dia. Ah, Mozambique food. Oh man, this is. I'm, I don't know. I'm gonna test it. And... It's called piri piri chicken. My goodness. Guess what? I'm moving to Maputo. Maputo! Yeah, come. Man, the yeah, yeah, moving without us. Yeah, we, we. Did I say I? Yes. I? Yeah. The current dad. When I say I, 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 and the family. Me and them, we know how we work it out. Okay. My sister's Did like, you enjoy that? Huh? What? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, this is laka laka axe. This is laka laka axe. Axe! Looking for? Yeah. Pity pity, what are you looking for? I'm for the mids. It's finished. What about this one? You can take those. You want seconds? <laughs> yes, I want seconds. Mom, mm, mm, this is so good. Guys, you guys have to try it. If you guys make it, it's amazing. I love this so much. Right, Mama? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I I'm I I'm in love with it. Oh god, it was actually from the Nando's restaurant. <laughs> At Visa's Kitchen and More, we like to showcase talents and businesses. Now please stay tuned for a special performance from Elvis Bokasha.
wasn't that just amazing? The link to the full video is listed down below. And once again, thank you guys for stopping by at Beast's Kitchen and more. Bye!